Hi students, the topic for today's session is source coding. The main function of source coding to reduce the bit rate as much as possible. Two methods are adopted for source coding. First one is run length coding and second one is variable length coding or entropy encoding. So first we are going to discuss about the run length coding. When we are transmitting an information which consists of series of identical elements. Then in run length coding we will transmit the code of this element and number of successive occurrences. This gives a variable compression factor. The longer the series bigger the compression factor. In receiver we will do reverse function which does not lose any information. So here we show an example that is 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0. So here we are going to do in the case of a run length coding first we will check 1 how many times 1 is repeated that is 4 times. So we write in a column we write 1 comma 4. Then we are checking second bit 0. It is also repeated at 4 times. So we in column we wrote 0 comma 4. Then again we will check next 1. It is also repeated 4 times continuously repeating. So 1 comma 4 and other, uh, next last bit is 0. It is, it is repeated 2 times. So likewise we are going to write in the case of a run length coding. Then next one is variable length coding. The main function of variable length coding to reduce the bit rate. Here we are going to reduce the bit rate by encoding the most frequent element with the less than n bits and less frequent element with the more bits. So we can reduce the bit rate. The information is given as i is equal to equation for finding information is given as i is equal to log 1 by p. So it is going to be written as minus log of p. And entropy is written as h is equal to sigma pi i log 1 by p. That is sum of the information quantity of all elements generated by a source multiplied by their probability. Thank you.